All right, we're going to try this again. So this is a follow-up from the previous video. Still using the coaster molds, shop resin molds. I'm going to switch it up just a little bit. I'm going to do my white the way I did before. I'm going to change it up and use kiwi instead of lime for the colorant and then still put a little bit of asparagus from Etsy Funshine Color Shop. The white will have the sparkle white in it to give it a little shimmer. This time instead of using the red colorant, I'm going to use Counterculture Ruby, Red Ruby. This is a, an intense color, so I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny, tiny little drop, but it's going to be a deeper red. And I'm going to put a drop of gold or alloy alcohol ink in it just to give it a warmth and shimmer. And I'm changing up my glass bits to bright gold from Lara's Art Corner. So I'm just going to let you watch me do what I did before. So I'm getting a different look and I don't know if it'll how it'll turn out on the other side but the effect is different which is what I was aiming for so that's a good thing and I'm just going to drag in a little bit make a little bit more organic feeling. And I really wanted to put that white in, um, I put it in at around 15 to 18 minutes, so much sooner than I typically would when I'm doing uh, like floral coaster blooms. I can even pull it out a little bit too. I may have done it a little too soon and it may blend too much, but um, the last ones didn't blend enough because I waited too long, so I wanted to really get busy on this one and, and try it quicker. But I think I'm going to be happier with these but I may be wrong.
think I'm done. I used a little caramel with the kiwi, a little gold with the red ruby. The asparagus went into the green just for a little bit of mica shimmer. Cast and craft. I put a couple of drops of alcohol ink this time too. And the sparkle white from Etsy Funshine Color Shop. And uh, so that was my little mixtures this time. Can't wait to see the results. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, so it's the next day and ready to unveil and see what they look like. Ah, so I did this uh, little cloudy kind of effect. So that means the resin was, it was a little bit too early. I did it at around 15 minutes and I probably should have waited till maybe 20-ish, 20 to 25. But they have still a very pretty, almost a jellyfish kind of look along the edges, really pretty edges along there. So again, you learn with each project. I've not really achieved this look many times, so I can say now that I've got this look, I know how to do it. <laughs> A little peek through of that color. I think this really would have worked great if I had just waited 10 minutes longer and not anymore. I may put a little gold outline on the top edges and when you do that you just use a uh, Krylon paint pen. Just leave the edges the way they are. Pretty either way. So I hope you learned something today. Check out all the links below the video, especially the new Facebook auction group. Go check that out. Join just for moral support, if nothing else. And if you'd like to participate as an artist, go to our website, www.arthealingheartsauctions.com to apply and partner with us. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next video.